The human aura has fascinated mankind for centuries. The aura is the electromagnetic energy field which surrounds the physical body. In recent decades, Kirlian photography and other technologies have provided scientific evidence of the aura. This multicolored energy emanation can be seen with inner sight or the intuitive or subtle vision sense. By developing and opening inner sight, the aura's energy field can be seen. Through the health magic interpretation method, the significance of the aura can be understood. Our beliefs, emotions, and thoughts manifest as energy masses. These electromagnetic energy emissions arise from our perceptions of ourselves and our environment. Their radiation forms the electromagnetic fields of the aura. These energy fields vary according to the type of emotional and mental activity which generate them. So basically, your emotions, attitudes, and beliefs can be viewed in your energy field as colors. We have all experienced times when we were subconsciously sensing someone's auric field. Their energy might have felt high or low to us. How do we know this? we subconsciously perceive the frequency of that person's energy state. As a general rule, positive emotions generate bright colors, while more negative thoughts and feelings generate darker colors. Colors in the energy field are frequencies of energy consciousness. Like light passing through a crystal prism, red is the lowest frequency, while violet is the highest. The significance of each color is further defined by its location in the energy field. The following are general meanings of aura colors according to the health magic system. When red appears in the aura, the life force is being stimulated and awakened. It denotes a sense of urgency and importance. It signifies an issue that can no longer be ignored. Orange signifies being drawn to something that is or will be emotionally fulfilling. Being attracted to and attracting pleasure and fulfillment. Yellow signifies confidence and problem solving ability accessing skills learned from past experience that will benefit the current situation. Green signifies healing energy, creating harmony in relationships, and healthy self-love. Blue in the aura signifies the commitment of creative energy towards the goal, resolve, decisiveness and intentionality in the act of creation. Purple in the aura signifies a high level of awareness and vision. This is the color of the spiritual teacher. White in the energy field signifies an ideal that is needing to be grounded in material reality. Perfectionism that may be inhibiting action. Black signifies learning from past mistakes. The need to find a new way and leave behind what is no longer working. So, so let's focus on that then. Let's focus on you thinking about you um, felt uncomfortable, you know, being assertive around that issue with them, and so it went on longer than you would have liked. Mm. That. Well, that's certainly true. So let's have you I get my think share about it, yeah. um, being able to be right. assertive in the way that you need to be to get projects finished in, in a more timely manner than it feels like has been going on. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay, great. So just think about that, and I'm going to look at your energy field. I see some dark red in your throat. I see white in your heart chakra. 
And then there's black in your um, sixth uh, third eye point. So let's 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 just have let's just start with this statement, okay? And I'm going to muscle test you on my end. I can have clarity about my real goals and let my heart be in alignment with it. I can have clarity about my real goals and have my heart be in alignment with it. So let's tap on this. So now, you remember how to do the tapping? I do. I'm doing it. Okay. Good. So um, even though I have this fear, even though I, I okay, okay, yeah, we'll repeat it piece by piece. Maybe. Okay. Even though I have this fear, even though I have this fear, that I can't have clarity about my real goals, that I can't have clarity about my real goals, and let my heart be in alignment with them, and let my heart be in alignment with them. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Good. This fear that I don't deserve, this fear that I don't deserve to have clarity about my real goals and let my heart be in alignment with them. You know, like in working with you before, the one about deserve is always, um, I'm always surprised because I, I, I go into that statement, you know, thinking that I do feel I deserve it, but when I go to say it, 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 that, the, it's not really there. So let's have you say, I deserve to have clarity about my I deserve to have clarity about my real goals and let, my heart, and let my heart be in alignment with them. Okay, good. Okay, good. So you're strong on that now.